Hey, what's going on, everybody? It is your boy, DJ Gamer, that retro modern gamer. We are on the I Am DJ Gamer podcast. It is Saturday. Hopefully, all of you had a good week and hope everyone enjoys their weekend. So, on the podcast today, I got a special guest. Why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself to everybody? Hey, everyone. It's Miss Saber Alt here uh, joining. I am DJ Gamer and his podcast today. I'm so excited to be talking to you guys about some of my gaming interests, how I got into gaming, what uh, kind of games I enjoy today, and a little bit about uh, some of my anime interests as well. So uh, we'll get started. Yes, we will. We're definitely going to go right into, you know, your gaming history, your love for anime, and I also see in your page, you know, you do some cosplay. So, we're gonna, you know, <laughs> kind of, you know, we're going to get into that, how they, all that started. So, okay, take me back. How did you even, like, what was the first console game that you ever laid your hands on? What was that? The Super Nintendo was my first console. Nice. Um, yeah, my, my brother, he... Um, you know, he's the one who really got me into gaming. Uh, you know, we would wake up like Saturday morning, uh, you know, in our jammies and everything. And, you know, we'd get the Super Nintendo and just like play video games all day. Like that's what we would do growing up. And, um, you know, it wasn't until later on that he told me that sometimes he would unplug the controller <laughs> because I was like so bad at it. <laughs> and so, um, you know, it was just like one of those things as, as kids that, um <laughs> it just becomes part of like who you are later on down the road. Um, we would play Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, um, nice, nice. Super Mario Bros, Donkey Kong. Like, you know, it was just like so much fun, Ooh. so innocent. <laughs> For real, I, I think I may have done that too. I'm gonna be guilty. <laughs> um, you know, my sister, you know, started playing and then, yeah, you, you knew she was bad and you had to unplug it, but pretend that, you know, they were doing stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah oh man that, that's crazy how you know there's a lot of us who've the, either experienced that or have done it to our you know our siblings <laughs> so <laughs> I know I'm guilty too like you know I have little cousins and stuff growing up I would do the same thing to them and I'm like <laughs> nobody's ever gonna know so it's it's okay just let them do their thing <laughs> you're like oh man look <laughs> Oh. You're doing good. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, definitely, uh, Super Nintendo's. I think for me, as far as that's where uh, I mean, I you know, coming from off the Nintendo, Sega, but Super Nintendo is where it was at because uh, we had you know Donkey Kong Country, uh, Super Mario World. You know, that's the introductory to Yoshi. I mean, yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people don't know about the Super Nintendo, but man. If you want to do your retroing, Super Nintendo is where it's at. That's for is sure. where it's at for yes. sure. Yes, because you know, like I said, Super Mario. I mean, so what? Well, so what other? What are the kind of the games that stick out to you the most as far as Super Nintendo? I right, got your little buddy right there. Yes, this is Cade. By the way, um, we named him after Cade from Destiny, Destiny Two. That's my dude, by the way. Cade, <laughs> I, 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 a side note, I was pissed that they killed him off. I was. Oh my, my god, god, I know. I was so mad. Uh, I'm hoping, like, I'm hoping they bring him back somehow. Yes, like, look, I, I really stopped do. playing for that same reason. Like, I stopped <laughs> playing, and then, like, a part of me said I must avenge him, so I started playing that again. But my god, Destiny that was my dude. Yes. Great game, but yeah, so we had to play a. Uh, uh, do a little tribute to Cade, so that's uh, that's how he got his name. Nice, that ah, oh, see, <laughs> Cade is cool. Cade is down with us. All right, nice. <laughs> um, so going back to your question, uh, I would say you know, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles was always like that one game that really stuck out to me. Um, it was like not just the game, but also you know, we had the action figures to go with it too, like the yes. the little like action uh -huh. figures that we would collect and. It was really just like part of, you know, uh, my dad told me like in the hospital room, like they were playing Ninja, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles on the TV, like as I was being born. And so I think oh, it's just, see? it's just that, uh, that culture, you know, like, um, so I, I think that's the one game that really sticks out to me the most. Nice. See, you get that coming into this world. 
with gaming that's just like <laughs> you yeah this is you this is like <laughs> exactly there's no way there's no way at that point you were ever gonna shake gaming off going forward right <laughs> there's just no way uh, that's that's cool that's cool uh i definitely i did the same thing as my son was being born not you know i mean afterwards but yeah i mean i i, I you know i was there for a couple of days i'm like man, man i need my playstation at the time i didn't have my <laughs> ps2 so I, I literally took it, plugged it into, <laughs> into the TV at the hospital, and it was playing. So wow, <laughs> that's that's commitment, dedication. It, 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 honestly, I was like, you know, waiting for my son to be born. Days, I'm like, man, I want to play too, though. <laughs> <laughs> so he's like already born. You're still there, like. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm like, you know, we're ready to leave. I'm still like, you know, going on GTA. Still gaming, San Andreas. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, okay. So obviously that was a big influence, you know. You, you say you have an older brother. So going forward from mm. the Super Nintendo, did you like did it get more advanced as far as you know other games that you were playing? What what other games were you playing? Yeah. Um after the Super Nintendo, I got a PlayStation One. Mm -hmm. Um, so my brother and I kind of shared that console too growing up. Um, we had to share everything, you know, unfortunately, but yeah, yeah. um, you know, I think that was kind of like where I got into PlayStation was the PS1 and then eventually on to the PS2. Nice, nice. Definitely PS1. My goodness. Mm -hmm. That came out too. You know, we had so many games from the PlayStation 1. And like to, to this day, it's just like some of those games, I'm like, man, they need to bring that back. Like It's a game changer, like for sure. You know, like from the cartridges you'd stick in to actual like discs like putting that into yeah, the... that, that was right there to me was like then the memory cards remember the memory cards the memory cards <laughs> the yeah. memory cards and so... yeah and then yeah. you know you, you thought you were you know ahead of the game when you know the the rumble <laughs> on your control oh, it's yeah. still things like that like <laughs> i know i know and then we still had like the wired controllers too and um i think one time one of our dogs had chewed up the controller like oh. the wire Damn. oh my god it was like what? I, it was like yeah <laughs> i don't want to like hurt you but i'm like oh but my I god we're so L. mad <laughs> we're so mad oh my god so ps1 so you go right through it ps1 ps2 ps3 did you ever explore xbox or anything like that yeah yeah um after the playstation 2 um i think the playstation 2 really like um, it was like the console before I got the 360, the Xbox 360. Um, but the PS2, you know, I had a lot of good games on there too. Like I would play GTA, uh, Vice City. Um, I think I played like Bioshock. Um, I don't know if you've ever played any of the Bioshock games, but those are really like intense. Yes. Um, and then, uh, so when I got the 360, it was like, I think that's kind of like where my gaming interest kind of shifted um you know because like my my cousin came over one time and you know like my family like they're really all into video games and stuff so he came over and um you know I would play like zombies a lot like uh, modern War warfare zombies Ooh. and he's like um he's like dude have you checked out uh call of duty multiplayer and I was like Oh, that's it. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Like, not really. It's not really something that I was ever, like, interested in. Um, but, like, the 360 kind of holds, like, that special place in my heart. Because when I, like, when we did play multiplayer, like, it was, like, game yes. over. I was like, I love online, like, Call of Duty multiplayer. That's where it's at. Um, yes. But, you know, I think that's kind of, like, what ignited that um, that love that I have, like, for Call of Duty for sure. Was oh, it the yeah. 360? Same here. As far as when it comes to like Modern Warfare 2, oh, that yeah, right there, my goodness. Like it's funny because most of my friends were into video games, but not as much. And then I told them, mm -hmm. no, y'all got to play this, play this game, <laughs> get online. And then like, again, it's just as soon as we stepped into the multiplayer with mm -hmm. that game, it was done everybody everybody at work was like hey man you got to get this game you got to you know we were and that's why it became it became um oh, hold on sorry about that um it became the most well i think to this day it's still like 
the, the sales on that game were ridiculous. Like just how the popularity. That's where it started, though. That's where yeah. It started, uh, <clears throat> Modern Warfare Two. So Modern I Warfare Two. Mm-hmm. Get where you're coming from because I was the same way with that game. It was just like my goodness, just hours, nights, long nights, hours to the morning, to the morning just playing. To, I know. Trying to prestige. And and then, you know? Right, exactly. <laughs> trying to prestige, be better than everybody. I yes, remember oh, like, oh, hell no, I'm going to prestige. And then the thing was that once you prestige, you didn't, after a certain amount of prestige, you didn't want to do it because you got to do it all over again with the gun. Get them all <laughs> I <know>. back. <laughs> I know. But I think I that's like, like the, the challenge of it, you know, yes. just like being, like just getting better, like being more competitive. Um, but yeah, I mean, like we would stay up all night playing video games. Like uh, my brother and I, like we we're really into playing zombies and stuff. So uh, we would just like game all night playing zombies, like trying to get to the highest level we possibly could. And yes. it was just so much fun for sure. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. When Black Ops 1 came out and that oh my gosh. zombies, I was like, dude, that's my goodness. I'm stuck on this. Just trying to yeah. get rounds, just high level rounds and then. And then looking at, I remember I went so far just to look at strategies. Okay, where's a glitch where these, these zombies only <laughs> right. come out from one window? And then right, exactly. We will find them. We will find them. And we're like, oh, man, we're going to go to late rounds. <laughs> <laughs> and then like the stupid like box. I would, oh my God, it was so funny. Like my brother and I have like this running joke. Like um, he always gets like the teddy bear, like whenever the box, like <laughs> yeah, well, God. whenever the guns come out. So funny. Yeah, that- oh my goodness and it's crazy like how far um it's come too. like to think about you know modern warfare all the way to what where we are now like we have all these like intense like zombie maps and multiplayer modes that you know i wouldn't have never imagined i know and and the thing is that they they come out almost every year like boom they hit you with Mm -hmm. a new game now for you know did you were you into the games right before, like, you know, this new, this new Modern Warfare? I mean, like, because some of those Advanced Warfare, the other Black Ops mm-hmm. one, they, they got, it was dying a little bit because a lot of people didn't like the mm-hmm. like, suits, wall, the wall thing, you know, when right. you, wall, wall writing and all that stuff. So, I mean, were you still heavily into Call of Duty at that point? Mm-hmm. Yeah, absolutely. I, um, I liked the exosuits, um, you know, where you could, uh, have maneuver like kind of reminds me of, like attack on titan like their yes, um right yes. their gear like something like that so um <laughs> but yeah you know i was i was really into it like i um i enjoy like you know maneuvering up like you know on walls and everything and um you know when they were like you said like it was kind of like a decline um you know i think there wasn't really much interest in it but you know i stuck through it i i enjoyed like the content they were or the games that they were putting out okay nice nice yeah because look I don't dislike them, but I don't hate them. Hate on that, like most people do. <laughs> most people are like, "Ah, oh, dude, that killed the series. That killed the franchise. All this stuff." I was like, "I said I wouldn't go that far, but you know, it was yeah. something new, something interesting. Like you know, I I I I adapted to it and all of that. So you know, so it was, right, it was, it was cool. Like I didn't hate it as much as other people were just like on it. I did just <laughs> great hate for the for the XOC. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no seriously I think um <clears throat> you know just keeping like an open mind about uh the developers you know what they're they're trying to put different things out and you know it's kind of like a learning experience too like what is the what is the audience gonna like what are they gonna enjoy yeah. and so I think from that like you know they've been able to adapt uh the Call of Duty like franchise like those games into something like you know that a lot of players enjoy today yeah of course that's why i always tell everybody i said i said it, it maintained the popularity at the height mm-hmm. they were up top i said they're gonna take some losses in order to get back to it i said it, they, they won't mm-hmm. ever stay that up you know at the top of course you got to mm-hmm. take your bumps and then you know they come back and like okay you know what we're gonna take this off maybe we'll add right. it back in the you know future games and whatnot so i mean i don't think we got rid of the suits all completely though they'll be back back. (laughs) i think so i think (laughs) so yeah they are they are because (laughs) just as much as you 
hated it you kind of like oh man you know what I kind of missed the suit the, the suit would have worked <laughs> good on this play right now <laughs> right exactly so you know it's never going to be out completely because I, I do got a feeling that you know they're going to bring that those features back more futuristic because it can't all mm-hmm. always all be about old wars and stuff like that it's just you know it's not all the time okay? exactly nice nice so that you ever get into Nintendo as far as you know you playing PlayStation you're playing Xbox there was yes. ever in the, in the mix um i i actually got a Nintendo Switch for my birthday um it was last year yeah i got a, a Nintendo Switch for my birthday um my husband uh surprised me with it so he was like um that's a good man kind of right yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it was at the time where like the switch couldn't really be found anywhere. Oh. Like it was sold <laughs> out, and you know, I didn't, I didn't think that I was going to be getting one anytime soon. You know, like everybody was in quarantine. It was like right before, like you know, when COVID hit, like oh, the yeah. switch sales like went through the roof. Um, so he surprised me. He brought me into the game room, and it was actually sitting on my uh, my gaming chair. And I just like busted out crying. I was like, oh my God, like, (laughs) are you serious right now? I was so happy. I was so happy, Um, you know, because it was just so unexpected. And um, it was just like a really sweet like gesture. And he's like, I'm going to tell you right now, like this was really hard to find. So (laughs) I hope you like it. And I was like, I love it. Thank you so much. But um, uh, yeah, so... I think the Nintendo Switch is kind of like my first. Oh, actually, no, I have a uh, Game Boy Color too. Ooh, so um, man, you brought the retro right out. You just like, <laughs> damn, okay. That's a yeah, flex. <laughs> yeah. That so I guess like I had this, um, you know, when I was younger, and um, you know, I was never really into Pokemon to be honest with you. I never really got into. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? You know, a like, Game Boy and you were into Pokemon. Like, I know. A Game Boy Advance, a Yellow I Joy, know. and you didn't you didn't put in the Pokemon game in there? <laughs> no, I never got into it. I was never into Pokemon, and I know like a lot of people are probably like gonna look at this and be like, "What the heck?" I was like, you but Game um, Boy, you didn't play Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, and like I had a bunch of random games for this. Like, just I think like Lion King. Yeah. Uh, Powerpuff Girls, like just a bunch of random like games, but <laughs> never Pokemon. Um, and then that's when I got like the the attachment, like the light. Oh, and yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Like my parents would like you know tell me like, all right, time for bed. And I was yeah, like, right. Little do they know. <laughs> all right, you know, you know, they're like, she can't play her Game Boy at night. There's no light. <laughs> <laughs> I. <laughs> Those accessories for those Game Boys were so like key at that at those moments. I know. I like you know because I mean a Game Boy you know it was only literally only if you had like really bright light you could play it. But mm-hmm. um, when they added that night light, uh, it was done. It was like you done. Too, you playing that at night? <laughs> like under my covers, like yeah, I had my just... little like <laughs> <laughs> so much fun. Okay. So I would assume Tetris and stuff like that on there. I didn't have Tetris on this. Um, I think I had, let me see. I'm trying to think what other games I had. Um, I had like this one, like Sabrina game. It was like a Sabrina, the teenage witch. And, you know, you'd have to go and like cast spells and stuff. It was a lot of fun, but you know, just like super random. Yeah. It's crazy. how to make those random games from shows. Yeah. Like, you never thought this would be a game. It's like Sabrina. Right. Like, damn. That's just... <laughs> <laughs> exactly <laughs> that that is so cool because like you know I, I also appreciate the gamers that like sometimes like a pop over like pop popular game like pokemon not everyone's gonna play it too like you know not everyone's gonna be into it like it's it's, it's crazy to to think mm-hmm. because like, it's like damn everybody at least like a pokemon but you know i, yeah. I definitely appreciate the gamers too that like no you know what i was playing this instead of that and you know it's, it's, <laughs> it's all good that's that, that's the reason we got it the game selections that we do have and that's i, I like the freedom and like the how you like you know what i'd rather pick up uh, sabrina the teenage witch instead of pokemon Red. <laughs> <laughs> or, or, or right <laughs> exactly and i think it's just it was like at that point where um 
you know, this was like the first handheld that I had, like the portable uh, yeah. gaming device. So, um, you know, I would take it everywhere with me. And uh, it was just like, you know, gaming on the go before, before the switch. And before so it was just definitely. like, you know, that game changer. Yes. For sure. Now on, now on, now on long drives, you weren't even tripping because you got your Game Boy. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man, those are so key. I remember I even bought like, you know, I got tired of buying batteries. So I bought the, you know, the little pack you put in the back and then you can oh, recharge yeah. it. You recharge it and boom, you get to go. Like, boom. <laughs> It was just, it was just that, and you know, I I got into Pokemon. And I did through the Game mm -hmm. Boy, and it it was, I like what we had to do to battle each other. Is like you literally have to get your cable connected to the other game. Connect board. it, you yeah. There, you had to be there. It wasn't you know no, oh hey, what's your gamer tag? We're gonna be online. Like no, it was <laughs> like nah, bring your Game Boy because we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna clash. You know, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna battle. <laughs> That's to throw hands so, right now. You know, you know, those those things are, you know, a little bit more special because it's like you just physically had to be there. You know, it was yeah. like, online is fine, but it was like, you know, it added more to the battle when you were there. Like it was just like, right. Oh, link up. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I know it's it's crazy. Like, you know, those experiences you have, like when you're a kid and, um, you you know, they follow you like for the rest of your life. So I think that's something like, you know, gaming has really done for me for sure. It's just created a lot of good memories. I met a lot of awesome people along oh, yeah. the way. Yes. And, and I, that's why I do appreciate the technology we do have because it's just like, like this, like, look, without, you know, able to go online, we don't meet people that we do meet, you know? And yeah, the most part I've, I've met awesome people through gaming and everything where it's like, you know, we're, we're like, close it's just like it's crazy how that happens how you get close to somebody while you're playing the game yeah you know friendships and stuff like that so it's cool <laughs> i mean you know so and of course you got your bad apples and you know it, the, the beauty about that you just be like bye get out of my get out get off my yeah PlayStation. you're gone no seriously <laughs> it's it's crazy like my um my husband and i we actually started talking through we used to work together um <clears throat> at lowe's and so, you know, I was in customer service. He was in um, the other side of the store. He was in lumber. And so, like, you know, we never really talked like like that. Um, but, you know, the people that I, I did talk to, like, we would talk a lot about gaming and different games that we were playing and stuff. And so um, he had, like, you know, kind of heard through the, gate, the grapevine that, you know, I was into gaming and stuff. And um, he was like, you know, he asked me one day, like, what kind of games I was into. And, you know, I kind of told him. That's it. <laughs> I told him, you know, I was like, you know, I like playing Call of Duty, like, you know, Bioshock, um, Borderlands, you know, like all the games I was playing at the time. Yeah. And uh, and so he was like, do you have do you have a gamer tag? And I was like, oh, yeah, that's like, it. for sure. Oh, that so like it. the rest yeah, is history. The that's rest it. is history. Like, um, <laughs> So that I wrote it down right like there. on a sticky note and I gave it to him and uh, <laughs> he added me. And so, yeah, we just started talking. Oh, we just started talking through, um, it was through Xbox because I, uh, I have an Xbox one too. And so Damn. we would talk through, through Xbox and, you know, I was playing like the Witcher and I think he was playing like uh, destiny or something like that. You know, we would just like send messages to each other. Oh, so see? it's like, definitely like, it has a way of bringing people together. Yes, like, you know, for sure. Yes, it does. You see, you see how life happens the way it does because if you weren't into gaming, I mean, could could that have ever become what it is right now? I mean, that's why yeah. sometimes you, you think about it like, you know what? If I didn't like this, maybe this never happens. You know, it's yeah, just, it's crazy like that because crazy like, to think about. Yes, definitely. But you know, like I said, out out the gate when you were born, you were into the game. <laughs> it was just like you. Just, yeah raised into the gaming so it's just like yeah. it's funny how that happens how you okay you met hubby you know I exchanged gamer tags and that was it everybody that was it <laughs> <laughs> all it was was a gamer tag exchange and that boom. was it <laughs> no numbers hey i'll text you no i know gamer tag no exchange. we didn't even text at first See? like i didn't he didn't <laughs> no. have my number like it was just a gamer tag that was it like <laughs> like i'm not gonna give you my number we, we could play nope we play some games <laughs> <laughs> and like i gotta see exactly how you how you handle that joystick and you're gonna have my back in destiny because shit 
<laughs> that is sweet. Oh my gosh. Super cool. Everybody, like I said, man, those are the those those moment gaming moments mm-hmm. as outside of gaming that connects people because like I said, yeah, you guys never had the the joy or the passion for video games. Who knows if you ever meet hubby like that? So it's just, you know, that's a beautiful story. That is so so dope. Honestly, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, that is cool. So right now, what are you currently playing? What are you heavily playing right now? Hey, does Hubby? I'm playing. Play? Yeah, yeah. Okay. He's been playing um, uh, Ghost of Tsushima. He Sounds he just good. finished the second playthrough, so he said it's phenomenal. He it definitely recommends it. Yeah, I yes. mean, um, I've seen like the scenes, and I'm like, oh no, my no, god, that, like holding back game. tears and stuff. Oh my gosh, like it's intense. It, it, isn't it crazy sometimes how you could just watch? the gameplay and not actually and you're like so invested like just yes. so hooked on the it's, story and you're like watching you just like there <laughs> and yeah. happening, right and it's like I feel like it's more intense than a movie because you're like connected to the characters and you get like so you're playing as them and then you know you're building relationships and then finally like they like kill him off and you're like oh my what? god no what yeah I, yes I, honestly so like I got a little story about behind that. It's like my son's mom, not into gaming at all. You know, she didn't mind me playing at the time, whatever. But the what caught her attention and grabbed her, and she was all invested into the story was uh, Metal Gear Solid on the PS3. Oh wow! That she got hooked on the story, and it, it was just like, hey, are you gonna play? Are you gonna play today? Are you gonna play? <laughs> <laughs> just, just for her, it was like a show. It was like, a, oh, hey, the show, you know, like, hey, my show comes on at 9 30. Are you gonna play? Hey, you know, where are you at? Or, hey, so we can continue. And then I'm like, I'm like, oh, damn, you are following her along. <laughs> wow. So, she was in it. <laughs> yes. So, you know, it, it happens. You don't necessarily mm-hmm. have to pick up a controller to be invested in the story because nowadays the way they build these games and stories and characters it's just like it's hard not to you know fall in love with the character so yeah yeah. absolutely it's it's intense um (laughs) but yeah so i think oh so right now i'm playing uh modern warfare obviously um and then i started playing playing control it was free in the playstation store so started playing that um and then also on the switch i've been playing breath of the wild and oh. animal crossing so I, kind I of like for, I, I pray for a you little bit of everywhere world. oh I my god nobody I warned pray. me oh, oh. nobody <laughs> warned me i got into it like totally blind i was like <laughs> you know okay let me get pick up like, it's gonna be an awesome game i mean don't get me wrong it is but it is but jeez. oh my god i uh-uh i i, I had i had to stop <laughs> i had to stop because i was like no nah, i'm gonna get through it i'm gonna power through this oh no, no that's not happening in breath of the wild no oh my gosh it is <laughs> no. so hard so it is so hard to do in that yeah game. it's, it's just, huge like uh try to solve the puzzles try to solve everything i'm like oh my god i said i i'm big zelda fan too you know Uh but i've never experienced anything like that where i'm just like okay zelda you know what bam time out (laughs) yeah do this right now i'm I'm gonna put you down for at least a month and it's been it's been four months since i (laughs) I played it because i'm just like nah I'm, i'm not trying to do that right now I feel you. And sometimes you just like, you got to take a break. Um, You know, like I was playing Breath of the Wild. I got it for uh, as a Christmas gift this past Christmas. And, um, you know, I was playing it for like a few months and I'm like, yo, this is intense. Like I was not like, you know, you know, I, I enjoyed it. Like I love, love the gameplay, you know, doing the shrines, like getting equipment, powering up, like getting more hearts I love it, but you know, I just had to go back to Animal Crossing for a little bit, you know, yes. like oh, <laughs> take the a Migos, little chill pill. The Migos are so cool on Breath of the Wild. They are. Oh yeah. Those, uh, and then a, a buddy of mine at GameStop because I was gonna buy an Amiibo. He told me, mm-hmm. "No, no, get this other device, dude." And what that device does is like it clones any Amiibo to whatever game, like so you don't have to buy all those Amiibos wow yeah so he would he told me about it i'm like i bought it you download the software you just look for the game and then it just like brings up all the amiibos for that game 
and then it's like a little like it's like a little circle plate you know how you put it over your your switch yeah yeah it's literally does that boom you put it wow i'm like oh man i was using the crap out of that (laughs) as much as i could (laughs) i'm like dude (laughs) wow that's awesome so uh yeah so i i I was doing that but yeah no you brave you brave for breath of the wild (laughs) (laughs) so you haven't finished it yet no uh -uh. i'm I'm gonna finish it though because you know i'm just like you know what I, I, I've been feeling more of to picking it up and playing. So I'm just like, okay, yeah. time for me to go back and finish this already. Right. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. And, and that's super cool with the Switch did as far as that you can go back and play uh, Nintendo games, Super mm-hmm. Nintendo games. Oh my God, when they did that, I'm like, saw oh, that's it. Awesome. Yes. So that's super cool right there. All right. Yeah. All right. So how did this we're gonna switch it up did this love also come with anime what was that what was that what was that anime first what was that first anime you watched that just drew you in (laughs) uh i have to blame it on my brother again he (laughs) got me into he was the one who got me into anime uh you know he would be be home like watching dragon ball z and you know like at first you know i wasn't really I wasn't really into into it because you know like we had our different like shows and we'd watch different stuff but you know I would like walk by the living room and I'd see like is there a fight going on like Ah. dang they're still fighting (laughs) like who's gonna win and then you know like I'd be like super into it and then um you know I think like since then I've always kind of like you know, I, I love like the fight scenes, like in anime, just like the characters and stuff. Um, but Dragon Ball Z was the one that I like can probably honestly say like was my first anime. Um, after that, it was Sailor Moon. Um, I, I used to watch Sailor Moon and then Yu Yu Hakusho, Inuyasha. Um, and then after that, you know, I kind of like just got into like Death Note, um, Black Butler, um devils you know the list goes on but like oh, yeah. yeah yeah that that's the one that definitely like kicked it off nice same here i'm big into dragon ball like vegeta's my dude. that's awesome i i that's where i started was with dragon ball that was like the mm. first everything so definitely yeah we definitely i know where you're coming from with that because i mean i remember sorry, the first thing there was the hair like like oh, dude that's badass and then you know right I watching it and oh my goodness it was just like one of those things that to this day it will always be my like my first love because that's where it started and then you know yeah you know i, I wasn't like everybody I oh goku goku nah i'm vegeta 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 was your boy God. okay yes. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dude right there <laughs> i see you got like the poster and stuff so oh, um, yeah. i got yeah, like yeah. a little Oh, I like see you. Yeah, Goku you got right the, you the statue of that uh, that rose. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we got this one from San Japan. Uh, it's a con- anime convention here in San Antonio, and um, unfortunately, they didn't have one last year because of COVID. But every year, you know, we go, we cosplay. Um, we always pick up like a few items from from the con. But this was one of the items that we got. Nice, nice. That's good right there. I see you got a Gundam as well, right? Oh yeah, I'm I am. Like, oh damn, she fucking built Gundams too. That's what's up. Yeah, this was this was my first uh, build. So, nice. um, you know, we were kind of like looking at different kits, but this was my first Gundam build. And then um, my husband is actually a super hardcore Gundam fan, so uh, you can't see it, but there's like a bunch of like bunch Gunpla of, over here <laughs> that of, he's built. A bunch of kids. <laughs> yeah, and so um, his his gamer tag is actually like Domun Kashu, so um, mm. so he has like a special place for Gundam in his heart. <laughs> nice, yeah, and I, I was brought into that world too, and then instantly got hooked, and then I started buying the Dragon Ball model kits. Those, those oh yeah, nice. yes, those are nice. So. Okay. Yeah, definitely. I, I, we need to get this year out the way so we can get back to these events. Cause I, I miss know. going to all these events. I'm like, uh, 
it I do sucks. too. It you know, sucks. You know, and then but you know the when people, everything the vendors because sometimes you pick up stuff. I'm like, dude, okay, yes, posters and just like, oh my god, I miss it. I miss yeah, it. stuff you really can't find anywhere else. Oh. Like you know the artwork. People put so much hard work into their mm -hmm. outfits and you know crafting their armor, their weapons. Or creating their their costumes even, and so it's like, man, I miss that. Like I miss the energy being there <laughs> yes, and stuff. Yes, definitely right. The energy, the energy you get as soon as you enter the building is just like, damn. Okay, where do I go? Yeah. Where do I start. <laughs> where do I, I know everyone's like all dressed up, and it's yeah. awesome. Uh -huh. Like uh, San Japan here, like it's in the heart of like downtown, so everyone's just like walking Everybody around, taking over downtown, all the cost. Yeah. <laughs> All the cosplayers are taking over I downtown. Know. So funny. <laughs> All right. So since you mentioned cosplay, I feel that we just, okay, so cosplay, did that just come naturally to you? Like, oh, you know what? That looks fun. Let me get into it. Or it just. Yeah. Um, well, my girlfriend and I, we went to San Japan the first year and um, we didn't really have like a cosplay or anything. We kind of just went like, you know, walking around and stuff. And so the year after that, I wanted to kind of do something like a little bit different, get outside like my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, so I had got a, um, I did a gender, it's called like a gender bender or something like that. Mm -hmm. And so it's where like you get a cosplay and uh, just change like the gender. So I dressed up as um, Midoriya uh, Deku from my hero academia and i just like made it into a girl yeah. um so you know i bought the outfit got the wig and um you know i just rocked it like i went to san japan the next year and um i was just like let's do this, this <laughs> so good, you know right? i got a lot of compliments <laughs> on it like met up with all the dekus and we just like you know took pictures yes. and stuff and yeah so um and then i also uh, got a saber altar um, outfit too so I wanted to do something like a little bit different um, so I got her her dress and then um, just like a sword that um, was kind of like black and just dark I did like dark makeup and everything and so um, I went as a saber altar for for that year too nice see yeah I definitely miss those those because I, I do a lot of photography I do a lot of a lot of reviews for these shows so I, I'm blessed enough to get access like air here goes here your passes boom go for it but definitely I do yeah. taking pictures just of the of the cosplays because that's why I tell everybody I say most people may think oh that's silly but I said if you have any idea that it takes what it takes you know courage yeah. and, and the time you put into certain cosplays because certain cosplay they go like to the extreme but you know mm -hmm. much appreciated because they you know they have a passion for it and they just want to dress as whatever character it is but it goes so deep because you know it's it's the, the love for the anime it's the love for the character so it's just like you know you want to do all that you can do to, to perfect that look so absolutely oh, yeah. absolutely yeah, it's so much fun, so much fun. And seeing like, you know, like you said, like how hard people work to mm -hmm. make these characters come to life. It's something that like, I'll always appreciate that, you know, seeing my anime, like my favorite anime character come to life. I'm oh, like, yeah. can I hug you? Yeah, like, <laughs> and there's some that pull it off. I'm like, dude, I'm saying, damn, I, I got to, you know. It's just yeah it's just like the, the yeah. creation that like i said the passion it goes into cosplay is just unmatched because it's just like you know i i grew a big appreciation because it's like you know they no it's just like anything else they take the time to do this it's just like you know there's passion behind yeah. when you take time to you know make something so big big exactly. up to all the cosplayers doing their thing at these shows and i'm we you know we need to get back to that and we will get back to that so you yeah know, definitely get all this stuff out the way so okay so i got a little segment called two kills two saves basically two characters are gonna try to save you and the other two are trying to try to get to you mm. <laughs> okay Ooh. so we have saber that's why that's the reason i asked you which was your favorite characters i was gonna throw them in there somehow we got Let's all my it. goku oh and oh, we got, okay. And we got Tanjiro. Which okay. two are going to save you? Because the other two, keep in mind, the other two are going to come after you. 
<laughs> Damn. Okay. All Might is going to save me. I love All Might. Okay. You got um, it. Who else is going to save you? Dang. How to protect you. And... Oh, I want to, I want to say Goku. <laughs> I want to say Goku because I do not want Goku attacking me. Like, <laughs> you don't want Goku? No. <laughs> so all my Goku are gonna save me. <laughs> Ooh, that is a powerhouse right there. <laughs> Combined. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> do not want them coming after me. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So Tanjiro and Saber are the ones gonna be attacking you. Okay. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll take it i'll take it <laughs> yeah I, I i think you'll be in the clear i think you'll be in the clear with the two you kids. <laughs> yeah you'll be fine i don't think i don't think you're gonna be i think you just be chilling they're gonna just, just not even touch you <laughs> <laughs> right <laughs> not even gonna touch you <laughs> yeah all right all right oh my god so as we put it into this um anything you want to plug in you know where people can find you and all that good stuff and a place you would recommend to eat one of your favorite spots right there in, in san antonio you know. oh okay um so my ig is the same as my gamer tag uh, miss saber alt and uh that's for both playstation and xbox so you can add me on there too if you want um as well as nintendo uh my switch is also miss saber alt um but i would say some places i would like to eat here in san antonio yes that's that uh, one spot that you know it, it could be a hole in the wall it could be whatever but you know doesn't matter dang well there's this one mexican restaurant that you know they they make a mean margarita i'm gonna say um it's called claudia's it's um claudia's number two and oh my god we were there last night and go. i'm just gonna say like mexican <laughs> foods where it's at like you know Is if it? you want some some good mexican food and a margarita like that's your place to go Ooh, there you go there you go they go hand in hand everybody mexican food <laughs> and a margarita yes yes undeniable <laughs> connection <laughs> <laughs> all right well definitely big ups big appreciation you know sharing your story sharing your history your passion for cosplay the gaming we definitely as a you know as a gaming community we appreciate gamers that are actually about the life and not just yeah. pretending and you know that's that's good because you know we just make we're just trying to make a community stronger better and you know that's what it's about connecting with connecting with people because like i said everyone has a story and you know sometimes it's similar to how, as we grow up as gamers and you know we have a passion for this we have a love for this so definitely you know you got an awesome story and you know like i said how you got married to your hubby like because <laughs> of gaming kind of you know you it's just yeah like, oh, undeniable undeniable how mm -hmm. gaming is so strong and is so impactful in people's lives because that's what happens stories like yeah. yourself stories you know as far as you know your your upbringing you know you know day one born getting born into gaming <laughs> You met your husband. Yeah. Gave me, like, you see the, you see the pattern? <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. It really so, is. And yes, the community that's... is is definitely powerful. You know, I, I think this is probably the best community ever. Like, yes. you know, we're we're in it together. And um mm -hmm. I'm really excited to see like where the industry goes for sure. We've yes. we've come so far. Uh-huh. So definitely that's the that's the whole the whole meaning behind the community is just like I get to hear awesome stories of why and how you got mm -hmm. a love for this, you know, for gaming. So big appreciation for that. So we are yes. gonna say peace out to everybody on that note. So nothing but peace, love, and positivity, everybody. Let's be cool, let's be great, and uh let's strive for greatness as always. And, you know, we're going to have our bumps in the road, but it's just like a video game. It's never going to be a one shot. You're going to run into your mini bosses. You're going to run into your main bosses, but it's a struggle, but it is that gratifying once you get through it. So let's stick together, encourage each other, and let's get through it. Peace, everybody. Bye.